has blown the whistle on the entertainment industry elite to reveal that Hollywood studio executives are bloodthirsty Satanists who ritualistically murder child actors. The Home Alone star has exposed movie business execs as satanic pedophiles who ritually abuse children in the industry. He claims he only got out alive because he was a smart and suspicious kid who got too famous to be killed like some of the other kids. You, he says, quote, you learn very early to recognize which of them want to abuse you and which of them have even darker tastes, he said, explaining that the worst of them wear shoes made of the skin of children that they ritually murdered. Culkin, Macaulay Culkin dropped a huge truth bomb during a radio interview in Paris, France. He said, have you seen leather products made from human skin? It has a very unusual, distinctive look. I learned at a very young age to identify it. The news was picked up by French media, which with mainstream French newspapers quickly reporting on the explosive interview. However, within an hour of publication, all reports began to disappear with previously published articles suddenly being scrubbed from the internet. French news outlet Les Echos deleted their entire article shortly after it started to go viral, but has not responded to questions regarding why they removed it within an hour of publication and if they were pressured to do so. But children in the entertainment industry learn very early to recognize which of them want to abuse you and which of them have even darker tastes, explaining that some of them Hollywood executives wear skin trophies. Explaining that he was 11 the first time he saw human leather, Culkin said he was filming Home Alone 2 in New York. When he was ushered into a back room on the set, there was a guy in there, a powerful executive suit type. You know what I mean? He said, he tried to make me relax by giving me a can of Coke. Started telling me about the nature of the industry. Basically, he wanted me to put my parents, to cut my parents out. He wanted me to, he wanted to be my guardian. He said he would make me into the biggest teen star in history. He said I had it all, but that I had to get rid of my parents. I was like, dude, I'm 11. And he said, you're a man now. Culkin, who has been living in Paris, France since 2003, then explained that the man began to make his intentions clear. He started breathing real shallow. My experience with perverts kicked in I could tell he was interested in me. He licked his lips and told me I was very handsome. I think I managed to say thank you and started thinking about how I could get the F out of here. Dude, I'm 11. Then he reached into his case and took out a crack pipe. He put it in his lap, took out a huge lighter and continued to gaze at me with this overpowering sexual desire. I was just staring at him. I think I said something like, Dude, I'm 11 again. I remember he said to me, it's celebration, little man, to celebrate your upcoming success, your many successes. Come, sit back down. He was tapping the pipe on his crotch, smiling, this total creepazoid smile. I ran out of the room, but I ran straight into this other guy who was outside the room, and he grabbed me by the arm and threw me back inside. He, he lit the pipe and blew the smoke in my face, which I guess he's the other guy now the original guy. He told me to look at his shoes. He said they were made from the skin of children he and his friends had murdered. He said leather made from human skin, skin is the finest leather known to man. Death of a child star. Macaulay Culkin said the Hollywood executive then dropped a heavy hint about the provenance of the skin used to make his shoes. He asked me if I knew Heather O'Rourke. Yeah, I remember.